Driving through the forest, wrecking some trees. Cause I'm an Asian driver. Don't know what I'm doing. Do 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 dum de dum dum dum. Son, look out for that 18 wheeler. What 18 wheeler, Dad? Oh shit! You guys know me as Morax. I'm probably the guy who has told you that you absolutely suck in team games. Well, that's fine at all, but I'm not going to apologize for that here. I'm here to do something a little bit nicer today. I'm going to teach you guys how to do hot build keys and some general key bindings, which is one of the most important things I think you can probably get acquainted with in FAF, given all the additions that you've gotten. Um, so here we're going to take a look at Open Palms, this kind of a standard map that you have out here. And I've done some setups over here to kind of give you guys an idea of what's going on here. Um, first thing we got is just a pretty basic kind of build that you're looking at for uh, a kind of open palms. I'm just going to do this right here. It's not really the hydro rush, but there's something you can do where you'll make things a little bit quicker when you're setting up your builds around here. And I don't know if you noticed what I was doing here with my commander, but you can see a kind of a little graphic that pops up at the bottom that cycles through some factories that you're going to use. And the way you get to that is you set up buildings in what's called hot build keys. And that is accessed by first pressing the F1 key, or you can go here to options, and oh, I actually lied to you, you can't do that here anymore, Never mind. So press the F1 key and you get to something called key bindings. And I don't know if, how many people here have looked through this in completion, but holy shit, there's a, quite a bit of uh, things that you can put through here. Um, I'm going to try and go over all of them in the next couple of uh, tutorial videos I'm going to be putting out. But first and foremost, I just want to give you some basic stuff on hot build keys since I think it's pretty critical to building up your speed in this game. Let's see what we got. Um, here we go. So go past the general debug orders, commands, chat, camera, and you end up in some place called Hot Building. Yours is going to be blank on the left side here, I believe. I don't remember what it's like when you start them out. But for me, I've got everything set up, and I'll explain to you how I set them up in a little bit more of an advanced video. But for now, I'm just going to go over some basic ones, such as the W key, Build Builders, Factories, Quantum Gate, and T1 Engineers, uh, Q, Build Mass Extractors, and T2 Engineers, um, and F key for build templates, T2 hover tanks, T2 gunships, we're not going to look at those quite yet because we're going to stay at tier 1 for now. And then another favorite one of mine, which is, uh, actually this isn't really a hot build key, but it is C reclaim. And I forgot to find this one, so I'm just going to sign that real quick for you. Shift C. There we go. So, let's just take a look at what we can do here. Um, I don't know how familiar you are with open palms or anything like that, but just in general say you're going to use these commands down here, move your mouse to do everything that you want to do. So let's just grab some reclaim, kind of see what it's like, sort of assisting people, then grab a mass extractor here, 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 go down here, build that, then go to my templates, build that, go back here, build that. So that's kind of your general build without the hot build keys. It's kind of a little difficult to do for me. Um, I think it's a little time consuming because you got to move all the way mouse down here and make sure you're clicking the right one. So let's cancel all these orders, just move this guy back here, which is really nice. And we're going to bring these guys over here. Close your hydro. Let's just do a little test speed run show you kind of what to do. So now we're going to first bring up the Q key, which is your extractors, after selecting this engineer, of course. So you'll just get the tier one. You can see that little graphic that's popping up in the bottom down here. So what you're gonna do is just do your standard kind of build distance thing, get right there, another one there, here. Don't bother really doing that there, build that, and there, your radar. Now, I don't really know how quickly you were looking at all of that, but this is in general a lot quicker than moving your mouse all the way to the, onto the bottom here, and I think it's 
going to give you a little bit of an advantage when you're learning how to play the game a bit better. So if you just speed it up and kind of watch what happens here, the engineer is going to go through, do everything it does, and it's all nice and dandy. The other thing too that you got here is looking at the C key. What does the C key do? It brings up your reclaim. So you can do that, do all your orders here. And then you can also hold down the shift key, get like your little cue going here. Get everything going. Pretty quick. Real nice and tight situations. Um, some of the best things that you can use hot build keys for is you want to do quick building while you're zoomed all the way out, while you're fighting on the battlefield. So if you're commanding units, moving them around, you can select engineers and build up things around here while you're also getting these guys to move around quite easily. It makes it real nice instead of having to move your mouse all the way down here and then go all the way back up here. Can you get it so it's quick enough so that you can move your mouse down here and do that? That's debatable. I don't think it is personally, but give it a go and see what it's like. So, just to give a little recap as to what's going on here. First thing is W key makes. So we have Sir Barnes & Noble Bookstore here. Support Commander to do this real quick. And one thing that's going to be important to note about this is that when you have the lower tier engineers, you only see the first tier of what's going on here. So if you cycle through the W key here, you see factory, air factory, naval, and quantum gateway. So you have the higher techs up there when you do that. If you're to grab an engineer, just a standard one, the T1, you got factory, air, and C. So you don't have everything open to you, and you'll see that that really makes a big difference when you're looking at the uh, template top build key and some other things that you do. So anyways, just look at your W key, you got your factory, air factory, and oh, well, I should have picked a map for this water so I can show you that. But anyways, keep in mind, the W key is also for T1 engineer, so just queue some of these guys up here, set your waypoint, and you're good. Same thing for the air factory, of course. What else we got here? Q key. We saw me use this one before. This is pretty simple. This is just your mass extractor tier levels. Um, you'll see that there's three images right here, and depending upon how good you are with recognizing the model, um, that may cause a little issue for you. So if you start building this one, you say, I'm on tier three it's going to assign to the highest tier level that you have there. So when I first click that one, it's tier 3. And, oop, hold on. Tier 3, you hit it twice, you get to tier 2. You hit it three times, you get down to tier 1. So that kind of cycles through your tier levels here. So I'm going to cancel building this one. Zap that back up. Oop. Yeah, whatever. I'll just let him finish that one. So let's just build a mass one extractor. Much quicker. Usually when you're playing the game you want to get that one up first and then kind of upgrade it. So you've got an absurd amount of mass in store here. This guy probably can build the T2 pretty quick. Maybe just build that one first right off the bat. Building a tier 3 is kind of tough so you definitely want to get used to cycling through to at least the tier 2 versus the tier 3 right at first. And I mentioned this one earlier here. Now this is the F key. Wiz Khalifa is going to show us here what that does. So depending upon how you have your build templates set up, you're going to have lots of different things that you can select when you do the build templates. And I'm just going to show you real quickly again where this one is because it's pretty critical to get it to work. It's, it's really predefined. F key, build templates. What does that do? Instead of going down here and taking the time to select these ones, you have the ability to select them with each and all of them. Then I think I said about being able to go through the different tier levels is really important when you get up to the higher tech levels because as you can see I got a nice like very late game build here where you have a uh, mass extractor farm and that's pretty helpful. Setting that up instead of building it out completely and just having it bounce to the F key like that, very nice. So here we have that. Let's build some storages around here. Or if you get a tier 3 extractor right here and you want to build your mass farm around it. There you go. That's 
that's pretty much it. That's kind of the basic idea there. You can see you can use it with just about everything else that you come around here. Set up some bases real quick. Set up some coins. And you're just doing everything at a really nice zoomed out area. So that's kind of the basics of that one. Take a look at it. Let me know what you guys think. See how it goes.